Hey folks, I'm Grimwit. This is Miasmata. Let's see what happens if we try to synthesize a plant that has no purpose. We get a little message saying we synthesized a plant that has no purpose. Lovely. Let's go ahead and synthesize this into a stimulant. This will be our best form of defense, but it probably won't be useful until the next episode. Mental tonics are good for map making or at least telling where you are when you're off the map. Basically it just creates a locator. And we can find both of these new items in our journal. When Robert runs too fast, he becomes very clumsy. And we get this very bad dizzy vision. Depending on the distance you fall, it causes the, uh, the effect to last longer and longer. Alright, and finally, let's go to sleep. It is, after all, very late at night. Every time you sleep, it saves the game. But whenever you sleep, I think before 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock, one of the two, it will just fast forward you to midnight. If you're having trouble seeing, that's because it's very bad to go exploring at midnight. If I remember right, there should be a pile of twigs over here. Ah, good. Put that pyrokinesis to work. Sometimes, if you're not careful about the time, you'll just be caught outside during the night time. And you'll want a torch or any light source. Mm. Let's go ahead and sleep until morning. Morning, everyone. It's time to go exploring that path we found via the map that we found yesterday, last episode. So we're going to go exploring a, a swamp. We should need to head south a little bit, pass through the swamp, and then we'll enter into sort of a lake area. And finally, to our next checkpoint, which will be another abandoned camp. Before I leave, I'm just going to add a couple of things to our map. Finding that camp that we can't see, finally. Couldn't add the heads, though. Four squirrels. It's a squirrel convention. I wonder what the name for a group of squirrels is called. A squad? A squad of squirrels? Is it a squad? Scattering of squirrels? Square? Squire of squirrels? Finding high ground is a double edged sword when map making. On the one hand, 
you should have a good view of everything, but on the other hand, there's usually a lot of trees in the way. Also, here I'm showing off a trick to slow down going downhill very fast. As you've seen, Robert is very clumsy. And if he goes too quickly, especially down a steep cliff, he'll just fall over. But if you turn sideways and then strafe opposite the, the direction you're following, falling, then you'll slow down faster. I just headed down the wrong trail. Just another day of being Mike. I remember once I lived south of Baltimore and I headed north to try to find a way to John Hopkins Hospital. No idea what happened, but following the roads as best I could and with the GPS, I somehow ended up leaving the south of Baltimore, almost near the way I came in. I left home and somehow was spat out and returned home. The event was legendary with my family. Oh yes, jumping. Robert Hughes can jump, but not very well. I don't think we have this fungus. Pearl shelf fungus. I, I'm off the path again. I should need to head this way, if nothing else, and I'll find my bearings. There's a head up ahead. Using that and nothing else, I should be able to figure out kind of where I am. I'm very near the lake's edge, so that puts me about where that hand is. So there should be a camp north. There's the trail. Um, now I lost the head. How did I lose a head? It's huge. There's the head, and there's the camp. Using that, I can triangulate away. To a map location. And add anything new. Sorry about that bird. Ooh, there's another hidden camp. Or as I like to call them, pixel hunts. It wouldn't be an adventure game without some kind of pixel hunt. I have this bad habit, whenever I get out of my map, by hitting the inventory or journal button. Oh, what's this? Strawberry Jam Overdose. Who's killing all these people with their ketchup and jam? And why are these apples rotten on the tree? That was bizarre. Another stimulant. We'll put that away for later. What 
What's this? Seems further on at an outpost Vega. They found one of the ingredients to the cure for the plague. That one was for Agent Y. I hate it when I'm map making and suddenly I'm thirsty. Soon my vision will blur if I don't drink. And then I have to re-triangulate the map. It's annoying. There are three enhancements to our physical and mental well-being. Each of those enhancements, those permanent enhancements, or emphasis drugs, require two ingredients each. Six different plants. There are three parts of the cure, each requiring two plants each. Another six different plants. So one dozen plants would be necessary for the main quest of this game. My pixel hunt was unsuccessful. Which way? No, not that way. No, not that way either. Stick to the path. I'll have plenty of time later to get lost. We don't have this plant. It's unlikely it's one of the dozen important plants, but might become handy. I like areas with tall grass in this game. Not for its aesthetics, but because usually it has some kind of plant. I think we already have this one. Uh, next page? No, no, it's right there. Yeah, we already have this plant. Also, later on, tall grass will become important. But again, that's probably not till next episode. I haven't recorded next episode yet, so I don't know. I normally try to skip triangulation, but this is a good example of the pixel hunt just to get the map location right. We could use our clarity tonic, but that would only tell us where we are on the map and not let us, not help us map other landmarks. No, not there. Maybe it's on the left. There it is. There must be something new we can add to our map. I don't see anything. 
But we just now added that one. Oh, that looks neat. We'll I'll check that out later. Hmm. Well. Moving on. Uh, no, not that way. There we go. That's the path we need to take. That's just wheat. Can't use that. Get off the path real quick. I wanna, I wanna see if I can add anything to my map. Yes. There's a head over there. And over here is that landmark I wanted to check out. It's in a very high position. The research team that came to Eden, I'd love to know how they even knew that the cure was going to be here, but they must have been a cross between medical researchers and archaeologists. Whoever lived here before the visitors came, they must have had a lot of time on their hands. Look at all these structures, these giant heads, these pillars. It's a wonder we don't see roads. Come on, it's right there. It's just, it's just a second ago. There it is. Aha! Added a. Looks like it was a camp. And I'm thirsty while map making. Timing. That's a cliff. I don't really want to risk all of the progress I've made with my map to hop off the cliff just now. Perhaps later we'll we'll do it just to see what happens. Hey squirrel. That means that there's a bit of backtracking. And for now I want to stick to the path. Do you suppose is in here? Red mushrooms. New flower. And more red mushrooms. We'll know where to go when we need more clarity tonics. Ah, a new camp. It's not on my map either. I can at least add the head. Ah. And now the head is on our map. Oh, with nothing else to add, let's check out that camp. Maybe we'll find some food. I haven't eaten, I don't know, in 24 hours. Research station. 
Time to see what this does. Basic medicine. Oh, I'm an idiot. What did that say? Where is it? There we go. More basic medicine. We only need one of these two. So we'll draft the other on the floor. I should have mentioned, using the A and D key, you can page through your journal instead of just clicking on the pages to turn them. Journal entry, not ours. Herbert Goo? I think he's found himself in a euphoric state of fight club. He may have his own Tyler Durden. There we go. If you go back and read that, the journal entry was basically... Goo having a little bit of trouble controlling himself. Or maybe not controlling himself. Maybe submitting himself to the lack of control. We're probably not the only one that was sick that came onto this island. This camp has always been on our map. Since we got the map to the trail to Outpost Vega. Now what's this? An anonymous person felt the need to rant into his journal about Callus and his nationalism. As near as I can tell from the tone, he doesn't like Callus. The story will continue about the background of where we come from. I feel like this is an alternate history story. And we'll be piecing together the story little by little. Callus is the main bad guy though. A sort of leader of anti-intellectualism. Religious, maybe? Not sure. I don't remember there being any mention of Christianity in any form in this game. That might have been on purpose. Outpost Vega is one of, quote, my homes, end quote. I come here a lot. It just feels right to me, and you'll find out why next episode. But that head in the distance, he is my friend. Okay. Good to be home. I'm just going to take a look at this. Because I forgot to include these in the journal of the Something Awful thread. I'll fix that. And that is all for this episode. Thank you for watching me. And I hope to see you next time. Stay tranquil.